Live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering Pentaho World 2017. Brought to you by Hitachi Ventara. Welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of Pentaho World, brought to you of course by Hitachi Ventara. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Dave Vellante. We're joined by Rennie Vegelin. He is the IT manager of Vikehouse. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, yeah, Rennie. Thank you for having me here. So, so Vikehouse is the Finnish national betting agency, wholly owned by the government. Yeah. Tell us more. Yeah, we have, uh, we used to have like three companies, now we are merged as a one, and we operate every money gaming thing, all the money gaming in Finland. So that includes like the, from casino to lot lottery, to scratch tickets, sports betting, horse betting, whatever that is, and we gathered money. Of course, pay out some good winnings as well. So, but uh, everything we make under the line that goes to the good causes, and I mean everything. And you are IT manager, so, yeah. so what, is, what are your responsibilities? Yeah, responsibilities like the uh, developing the whole of the, uh, well, all the IT things we have, from architecture uh, to doing the IT procurement development, enhancing the how we work. So the That's public like policy on, on, on betting is, hey, let's, let's have a single state-run monopoly yeah. And we'll take the winnings and put it to the public good. Yep. Right? Makes sense. Um, and is there any competition from from internet, for of example? Of course. Or? Yeah. Okay. In the internet, we are like it's like a full competition. Although we are like a legally uh, based company in Finland, and we operate and sell only to Finnish people, the people itself they have all the freedom to choose whoever they want to play with. So. In that sense, it's full competition and have been so for many years. So you have to have great websites, yeah. great customer experience, yeah. user experience, yeah. competitive rates, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. And, and okay, so, and good analytics. And good uh -huh. analytics, uh -huh. yes, I mean, yes. it, that industry yeah. is obviously very data heavy, yeah, always has been. So yeah, how do you use analytics and data to compete? Yeah, so uh, we have been doing like the product analytics for quite a long time and then we established a customership. So in the Finland we have like a 5.4 million habitats and we sell only for the 18 plus year old people. And now at the moment we have more than 2 million registered customers already. So you can imagine that we have that vast amount of data from the customer and we use that data uh, for example, to promoting the uh, services, promoting the games, uh, targeting, making some uh, recommendation. We built our own recommendation engine, for example, uh, and utilize all that kind of data. But as you know, the gaming is also, it's like a two-edged sword. There's a happy side, uh, but there's also the dark side. So it, it does cause the problem. So we try also to use the data so that we want to identify the uh, bad patterns when somebody is about like to the uh, lose control of gaming. So we use also the same data that we want to seize, for example, for these players, we want to seize all the uh, uh, activities of marketing, for example. We don't want anybody to uh, like the, uh, get into problems because of gaming. So that's a really interesting tension here, is that you obviously want to make money mm -hmm. in this, but you also have to watch out for the Finnish society. Yep. And as you said, if there is a compulsive gambler or an addicted gambler, you need to act. I mean, is, th is that? Yeah, yeah, and that's really big part of our responsibility. And if we didn't have any data or if we couldn't process it, it fast, uh, we couldn't know who is problematic gambler and who is not. Since vast majority is, of course, it's enjoying, it's a nice habit, play a game of poker every now and then or go to the casino for once or twice a month, for example. But then there's the small portion of people who we want to protect that so that they don't get into the depth. That's not our intention. And, and the level of protection mm. that mm. you provide is you stop marketing to them, is that yeah. right? Or yeah. It's not and like you intervene in some other way? Yeah, or? of course we want to uh, promote that. Uh, if you want, you're, you can stop and, and pro uh, close your accounts uh, or 
this kind of activities. So, so you but promote cutting the cord, basically yeah, saying, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's, so let's instead of marketing, we say that this might be a problem to you, so. Yeah, let's take a break. Yeah, yeah. you should take a break, yeah. yeah. So as, as Dave was saying, I mean, you really, because you are competing with private entities, yeah, you really yeah. have to have uh, a gr great interface, mm. great customer experience, great rates. I mean, how much does this put uh, Vikehouse really on the vanguard of this kind of technology more so than what other government agencies are doing in the sense that you really have to stay really on the cutting edge of these things. Yeah, we have to be like uh, a yeah. double back. So you how much do you then you talk to the health agency or other government agencies about what you're doing and sharing the best practices about capturing customer attention? Uh, we are actually, uh, well, talking more to the, uh, the new players out of the field who already like uh, live and breathe through the data. So that's where we can learn. And uh, I would say that we are also the leader, also in the like a lottery area itself, but also in, uh, in, in quite many other uh, industries as well. So we have been doing this for a while, so we have had the luxury that we have already gathered some experience and opened some parts. And, and well, maybe learned also from the hard way how to not to do it. So. We, of course, didn't succeed in the first runs, but you just have to go and have a trial and error in some areas as well, so. And you have multiple data sources, obviously. Maybe yeah. talk about how you're handling those data sources, mm. are you ingesting, how you ingest those into mm. Pentaho, what you do with it, how you're operationalizing the, the analytics. Where does Pentaho fit in that whole process? Yeah, Pentaho, we use that as a, like the ETL process, so to get this 360 view of the customer, we have like a various data sources. Uh, after the merger, we like a triple the amount of different sources, and I think more than quadruple the amount of data. Uh, so, of course, just to make the, uh, the data and the work of the uh, analysts easier, uh, we need to make some transformations to the data, and in that area, the Pentaho has its place. Uh, and uh, in the future, and what we are also expecting, like the future versions to uh, help us with, is to like the uh, tag into more real-time data. So, for example, we can uh, put in the real-time data feed for the one physical place, so they can see like which. Uh, machines are used well, which are not, or is there any other activities that they can learn right in their place? So, uh, are you in the process of instrumenting the, the, the machines at this point? Yeah. And so you're putting, how does that work? Mm -hmm. Do you, is, it a, is it a rip and replace? Is it a, you know, some kind of chip that you put into the machine? Mm -hmm. how, how, do you, how do you instrument the machine? Uh, it's a good thing so that, I mean, we have like actually, we design our own slot machines. Okay. Even, so, oh, okay, so. so we, we can like a build up the, from the ground up. Design it in. Yeah, we design it that the, uh, the hardware supports, like it's, it, they are big IoT machines. Right. Uh, but also the software will support us. And, and, uh, and, and, and then you, you and then you've got connectivity. Is it hardwired? Uh, is it, is it? Uh, uh, physical, is it, or is it uh, 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 wireless? Uh, we use, well, whatever is available, yeah. so. <laughs> Depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, when we are developing like new uh, type of games, for example, when the yeah, slot machine should have like online all the time, like uh, jackpots available, then of course we have to think about like what's the uh, quality of service of the network as well, but, uh, so far, we have been like using whatever is available. So what does the data architecture look like? I wonder if you could paint mm -hmm. a picture. So you've got the machine, let's, let's just yeah. use slot machines as yeah. an example. Okay. So you have the slot machines, you've instrumented mm -hmm. those, you're doing real-time mm -hmm. analytics there, and, and, and maybe talk about what kinds of things you do there, and then where does the mm -hmm. data go? How much data? Do you persist the data? Maybe talk about that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so we get like the uh, slot machines and other sources as well and, and have a, like a Kafka Hadoop yep. area where we collect everything. Uh, then there's uh, Pentaho doing the ETL work and we store the, uh, all the uh, uh, data that goes through it to the uh, Vertica. So we have HP's Vertica there and uh, 
in that vertical, there are like lots of users. They are like uh, SAS Analytics use that and the uh, Hadoop as well. So then we have some reporting, uh, financials, finance department. They also utilize it. Uh, but then we are also like building up some new things like uh, Apache Kudu is one thing that we want to set up there just to make the uh, life of uh, analysts much more easier. So they are at the moment having a little bit hard time in some areas how to utilize the data and especially like the how to use like the uh, different analyst tools from different different cloud vendors for this data since we are at still at the moment in on premise. Mm -hmm. So everything is on premise partly because of the uh, government uh, requirements. Okay. So some part of data they require that we keep it in within the Finland Right, so can yeah. we call that your private cloud? Can we uh, use it's that not term? private cloud yet. It's but not, okay, but, but it's your, your on-prem data yeah, center. Yeah, we are going Someday to that side. Someday it will yeah, be your yeah, private cloud. Yeah. Okay, so you have the edge device, which is the slot machine, yeah. and then do you send all the data back into Vertica or no? Probably not, right? I mean, is you mm, Not yet. Yeah. But, but do you it want will to? be, yeah, really? it will be. Of course, we have to make some decisions so like what's, what data will be important and what is not. Mm -hmm. So not all the data is, is valuable. But especially when it's like connected somehow to the customer or the retailer as well, uh, that data we also keep like uh, more than a year. So we are not doing only analytics just like uh, for the short time of data, but also want to seek out like long trends and make new hypotheses out of it. And the Vertica system is essentially your data warehouse, is that right? Or yeah. Okay, a and then are you doing sort of, uh, well you mentioned recommendation engines, so you're doing some form yeah. of, yeah. of a, it's a form of AI, as yeah. far as yeah. I'm concerned. Yeah. Are you doing that, <coughs> where are you doing that? Is you doing that in your, on, in your data center and is that a, another layer of the data pipeline or is that done in the... Yeah, it's, the uh, it's done partly on site, but also on the AVS, yeah. so we use Amazon services yeah. in, in some areas where we can use those. So the recommendation, for example, and uh, part of the uh, vekkas.fi, that's okay. part, some blocks are also on the uh, AWS. So it's, it's a three tier. If, yeah. if, right? So there's yeah. the edge, then there's the aggregation at yeah. Vertica, and then there's yeah. the cloud modeling yeah. and training that goes yeah. on. And, and Pentaho plays across that? data pipeline, is yeah. that right? Yeah, it's uh, our one major player in our data platform in this sense, so that it will take care of quite of many different kind of transactions so that we have like a right data in the right place. Cool, all right, I'm done geeking out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, <laughs> so, so Randy, before the cameras were rolling, yeah. we were talking a little bit about the difficulties of cultural change yeah. within these organizations, and you were, mm -hmm. you were talking about something that you're working on in Finland uh, that's not necessarily related to Vikehouse. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about, about what you're doing? Yeah, we are also setting up like a Teal Finland, so just promoting this like a, next phase of uh, organizational, uh, well, you cannot call it belief, but uh, vision and perspective. So we want also to promote uh, these kind of activities. So I know that, uh, especially with the big data movement, you have also seen the cultural changes, so that not the normal organizational ways of working are not just are not efficient enough, so you have to liberate the data. You have to give like the freedom how to use the data, what kind of hypothesis, what kind of activities are done. And this cultural change is also with the teal movement. It's like a getting like a next big leap. So this is, uh, well, it's a side project, but it's also really heavily work related. To and promote. how open is the Finnish tech community to these ideas? I mean, are, is, there, is there an adversarial relationship within the people who, who don't necessarily welcome the change? I mean, how would you describe it? I believe it's uh, really open. We have already, I believe, a handful of companies who work uh, and, and who operate by these, uh, from this per perspective, and more is popping out and we are establishing one cooperative like to support this movement and maybe to create the new spin-offs which can be for profit. Great. All right, so let's get to the heart of the matter here. <laughs> how do I beat how do I beat the house? I just, knew you were going just, there, Dave. I knew it. Just between us. Okay. <laughs> 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 Obviously I'm kidding, but yeah. but the different 
different games have different odds. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, and th has. those are that's a, you're transparent about that. People know what they are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But what, what are the best odds? Is it uh, slots the best best chance of winning or poker? Yeah, slots or? is good side, and also when you whenever you go to casino, it has a tough knob, so ninety point something. Right, right. So of probabilities and yeah. So yeah, but of course I have to say that the house wins eventually. So yeah, you guys, yeah, are, yeah. yeah. the bookies but always win. Right, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but so but but it, 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 so the higher the probability, the lower the payout in reverse, yeah. presumably, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the lottery, lottery, would be euro jackpot. If you would, yeah, would be low odds. Low but, odds, but, but telephone numbers if you win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Dave, so you, you, don't you have can't win if anymore. you don't play. Okay, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just saying. And Every week there's somebody who wins. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So why cannot be me or you? <laughs> <laughs> or what me. Or me. You, I'm maybe. Okay. So what do you do to the yeah. guys that count cards? You like break arms or you put them in jail? No. It's Finland. This is this is the dark. Side Nobody of does that. Do you have? Do you ha of course. Yeah. That's probably something we could in the future also uh, to use data more efficiently than than we use at the moment. So that's one part. Like how people behave versus machines behave. So for example, uh, in the online poker, the card counting program, that's uh, one problematic area for the uh, industry. Right. So Are you working be with behavioral finance experts in this to, to sort of understand people's behavior when it comes to this? Uh, yeah, we work, for example, with the psychologists to, uh, yeah. to understand this and the same goes with problematic gambling as well. So you have to know about like how people behave. And do you have yeah. customers outside of Finland, or is it pretty much no, exclusive? No, it's, uh, sorry, it's exclusive club. You have I to can't move get in. to fin you know, you have to move Finland, <laughs> and then we welcome you, yeah. Awesome. He's, he's, he's going to immigrate, I think, yeah. any day now. Yeah, <laughs> well, but ready? hey, it's one of the best countries, <laughs> so. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. It was a lot of fun talking yeah, to you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. I'm Rebecca Knight for Dave Vellante. We will have more from Pentaho World just after this.